Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Many of you probably know that a few days ago, Adobe updated Lightroom Classic to version 12.3, and in that update, they included AI noise reduction. I did a video on it, and in that video, I demonstrated the new AI noise reduction along with some of the other new features that they included in that update. If you haven't seen that video, I have a link to it in the description below this video. After that video posted, uh, someone asked me in the comment section when I recommend that they should do the AI noise reduction, meaning should they do it early in their workflow, middle of their workflow, later in their workflow. And those of you that follow me know that I've often said that you should do noise reduction as early in your workflow as possible. The first thing, if you could, that way it works most effectively. What I found just messing around with the AI noise reduction in Lightroom Classic is that it really didn't matter when you did it in your workflow. I think, I have no proof of this, I think that it just references the unedited RAW file when it does the noise reduction. So even if you do a ton of edits to the RAW file, it ignores those edits when you do, when it does the noise reduction. And then when it creates that new DNG file, it just then applies the edits on top of it then. That's what I think is happening. But apparently someone from Adobe made a video uh, stating that you should use that AI noise reduction as early in your workflow as possible. And generally speaking, if it comes down to my word or Adobe's word when it comes to an Adobe product, you probably should listen to Adobe. But I did mention uh, that I do a video and I demonstrate it. So what, that's what we're going to be doing today. And as a matter of fact, we're going to be doing this on an image that I've never used Lightroom's new AI noise reduction on. So it may prove to be true what Adobe is saying. It's best to do it early in the workflow. Or you'll find what I found with the other images that I've run through the AI noise reduction. It doesn't seem to matter when you do it. All right. So this is an Icon RAW file. It uh, was shot at relatively high ISO. I think it was 6400. There it is. ISO 6400. And we'll zoom in. And you can see that there is a considerable amount of noise. I'll hit reset over here a couple times. So no edits have been done to this at all. It is a totally unedited raw file. And if we go to the detail tab, you can see that sharpening's all the way down, luminance, color, everything's down to zero. So nothing has been done to this image at all. All right, let's take this image and let's get rid of the noise right away. First thing, so I'll click on the noise and it will bring up this dialog box. Again, I covered this all in that video I did a couple days ago. And um, it has the default denoise amount set to 100. And I'll just leave it there. I could zoom in and we'll look at a more important part maybe of the image, maybe something like this. And you can see that it, it, at least in this preview window, did a great job getting rid of the noise. So we're just gonna click Enhance and we'll let it create this new DNG file that has the noise reduced. So let it do its thing. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do an edit on the original raw file. I'll copy that edit to this new DNG file. Then we'll go back to that original raw file. And then I'll get rid of the noise again on that edited original raw file, if that made any sense. Okay, so this is the noise reduced image right here. And this next to it, is the noisy image. Let's go up to view and lock the zoom position and we'll zoom in like right here. Okay, so this obviously is the noisy image, the original raw file, and right next to it is the noised reduced image. So there's the original raw file and the noise reduced image. Okay, let's go back to that original raw file and zoom out and let me just do a very quick edit on it. Um, I'm not going to crop it, although in real life, I probably would crop this image. Oh, maybe I will. No, I'm not going to crop it because it's better to compare it when it's not cropped. So uh, we'll get a quick white point here. There, and we'll add some texture and some clarity. Maybe, uh, should we add some saturation? Yeah, why not? And then we'll go to detail and I'll sharpen it. Not going to do any noise reduction yet. 
and then we'll go to effects and we'll add a darker vignette. So this is my edit on the raw file that still has all this noise in it. Now I want to copy these edits to that other file, the file that we just removed the noise from. So all I need to do is click on it and then click on previous and it will apply those edits there as well. So we have now the two files, the original raw file that still has the noise in it, the DNG file that has the noise reduced and the edits copied over. So we'll go back now to this original raw file. Now we're going to remove noise here. So I'll go to the detail tab. I'll click the noise. And again, maybe we'll try it like I did last time. And you can see it removed the noise. Looks pretty good. We'll click enhance. Now we got to try to keep them straight. So it, when it is done creating the DNG file, you could see that there's a progress bar in the top left hand corner. When it's done creating the DNG file, it will be on this new DNG file. So this one will be um, edits done, then denoise. All right. So this is edits done, then denoise, the first one in the film strip. The one right next to it is um, denoise, then edits, and this is the original raw file. So this is edits done, then denoise. Let's zoom in. All right. Edits done, then I did denoise last. The one right next to it, I did denoise first, and then I copied the edits from the original raw file. Can you see a difference? I'm clicking between them. I do not see a difference. Let me know in the comments if you see a difference. And then this, of course, is the original raw file with all the noise. So let's go back to this last one. This is the one where I did the edits first. And then I did denoise. And then the one right next to it, I did denoise. Then I did the edits. Then there's the original raw file. Edits first. Edits last. Edits first. At its last, or maybe I should reword that, uh, denoise first, right? No, no, this was, uh, this was uh, denoise last, and this was denoise first. That's it. Denoise last, denoise first. Really, I can't see a difference. Now, again, the people from Adobe probably know best, and they do recommend that you still use this new AI noise reduction. They call it denoise early in your workflow. So maybe on the specific raw files that I happen to be using it on, it really doesn't matter. But maybe there is a raw file out there that will benefit from you doing the denoise or using the denoise early in your workflow compared to later in your workflow. But I just wanted to do this video to kind of justify my comment uh, in the comment section that I can't find a difference. And, you know, whether or not you can, your eyes are better than mine if you could see a difference between these two images. You can move around too. I don't know. What do you want to zoom in on? Zoom in on some, maybe the blurry part. All right. Click in between them. I don't see any difference. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.